Alaska is a U.S. state with a small population of only 740,000. They are surrounded by incredibly large glaciers, 3 million lakes, and 12,000 rivers. Its history is embedded in gold, and its people are diverse with multiple languages and cultures. Stay with me and learn about their lives, traditions, the most surprising places in the state, and much more. Number 1. In 1784, the Russians attempted to colonize Alaska. However, Russia could never fully occupy the territory because it was too far from the motherland, and the bear fur trade was becoming less profitable. The U.S. bought it from Russia for $7.2 million. Alaska joined the U.S. in 1959. It is also the largest state, covering 570,373 square miles. That is one-fifth of America. Most of the state is natural landscapes with glaciers and forests. The cities are small in comparison. Alaska means the Great Land. It also has the nickname Land of the Midnight Sun. Number 2. Native people have lived in Alaska long before it joined the U.S., and national parks have been established. Today, Native Alaskans reside in the rainforest of the southeast, the coastal regions of South Central, and remote regions of the Aleutian Islands. They have their own traditions and languages. There are five major groups of indigenous people, including Northern Eskimos or Inuit, Southern Eskimos, Uit, Aleut's Interior Indians or Athabascans, and Southeast Coastal Indians or Tlingit and Haida. Their native customs and subsistence lifestyle are still thriving in many communities and parks. Parks. Native place names and traditional ecological knowledge are important in understanding the history, science, and beauty of their national parks. They have a deep respect for nature and community, and they believe that all living things have spirits. Number 3. Alaskan weather is harsh and it's part of life there. The winters are especially unforgiving with extremely low temperatures. Snowfall occurs in most regions, leading to difficult driving conditions. The winters are dark, posing a mental and emotional challenge for residents because the daylight hours are short, especially in the north with an average of six hours of daylight. There are also severe storms, freezing rain, and high winds that disrupt daily life and even pose dangers. Number 4. Denali National Park is the most popular land attraction in Alaska. Here you will find Mount McKinley. It is one of the continent's highest peaks. The park also has a vast, unspoiled wilderness of massive peaks, glacial rivers, and tundra. Then of course there's lots of wildlife, including grizzly bears, wolves, doll sheep, caribou, and moose. Locals often come to Denali National Park for hiking, cycling, canoeing, rafting, or taking ATV tours to experience the beauty of the park and have an unforgettable time. You can also have an unforgettable time by subscribing to our channel, and it's much safer. Number 5. Alaska is home to many delicacies and well-known dishes. Reindeer hot dogs is especially loved by the locals and tourists. This Alaskan street food is made of baked reindeer sausage wrapped in sourdough, topped with Coca-Cola glazed onions, mustard, and cream cheese. Alaskans are also big fish eaters. There are 48 types of fish in the state. People generally prefer to eat salmon, rainbow trout, and rockfish. Number 6. The city of Anchorage is situated in the native village of Eklutna and the traditional homelands of the Denina Athabascan people. They lived there long before Europeans settled there in 1741. Here, the indigenous people still fish and hunt. It is a diverse city and hub for business and travel. It attracts people from all over Alaska, including different indigenous groups. So traditions from all over the state are brought together in a single place. Traditional songs, dances, and sports performances are all performed at the Alaska Native Heritage Center. Number 7. Alaska has many small towns that embrace a sense of remoteness and isolation. That can be either a pro or a con. It totally depends on one's perspective. The state's untouched landscapes and wilderness limits accessibility. There are many communities that are not connected by road. They rely on air and water travel for transportation. So residents have a higher transportation expense, difficulty accessing services and goods, as well as a longer travel time. But many residents here come here for the reason of getting away from busy, polluted cities with too many cars and noise and embrace the wilderness. Number 8. 
The Klondike Gold Rush National Historic Park is another historical gem of Alaska. This area has been dedicated to the Klondike Gold Rush of 1897 to 1898. During this time, thousands of Americans came to the Klondike region of the Yukon in Canada digging for gold. Over $1 billion worth of gold was discovered here. Alaska became a very important region thanks to the Gold Rush and the Skagway Historic District, and its historic buildings are proof of that. Number 9. The gigantic Hubbard Glacier is just off the coast of Yakutat. The face is nearly 400 feet tall, and it's 6 miles wide. The glacier has had two big surges in the past 30 years. The ice here is so thick that cruise ships can't get too close. Visitors go for tours to Hubbard Glacier for the stunning views. Nature lovers are particularly interested in the wildlife that can be found here, including humpback whales, harbor seals, sea otters, and sea lions. Number 10. Duck fart, yes, duck fart, is a drink originating from Anchorage. It doesn't have a great name, but the taste is great. This popular beverage is a combination of Irish cream, coffee liqueur, and Canadian whiskey. The reason it has such a strange name is because of the sound it makes when you drink it. This shot was invented in 1962 at the Peanut Farm in Anchorage and has been popular ever since. Number 11. People specifically go to Alaska to see the northern lights. They are also known as Aurora Borealis. They are colorful bands of light dancing in the dark night sky. The best places for views are from the outskirts of towns or in a clear area. They are most visible in the interior and arctic regions. Fairbanks is the most popular place to view the northern lights because of its location, auroral activity, hours of darkness in winter, accommodation, and the number of tours and activities dedicated to the northern lights viewing. Number 12. Alaska has no state income. This financial advantage is significant for individuals and families. They get to allocate their income towards investments, savings, or pursuing personal goals. Alaskans have greater financial flexibility and can enjoy a higher standard of living and benefit from the state's unique advantages like outdoor recreation opportunities and natural beauty. Number 13. Dog mushing is the official state sport of Alaska. Long ago, in the snowy areas of Alaska and northern Scandinavia, sled dogs were mainly used for transportation, but today they are no longer needed for transportation because of snowmobiles and modern vehicles. So, it has become a recreational and competitive sport. The Iditarod Trail Sled Dog Race is the most iconic winter event in Alaska, taking place every March. It is a grueling distance of 1,000 miles and a $50,000 cash prize for the winner. Number 14. One of the best ways to explore Alaska is to get on the Alaska Railroad. You will get to see the wilderness on this dome train. It even passes through the Denali National Park and Preserve. It travels through Anchorage and Tekitna. The railroad spans 470 miles or 750 kilometers from Seward in the south to Fairbanks in the north. You get to see the forest and rugged mountains in much more detail than on a traditional train. Food and drinks, including cocktails, are also served to passengers. Number 15. Ketchikan is one of the most vibrant and popular cities in all of Alaska. It dates back to the gold rush in 1896. Ketchikan's elevated historic boardwalk runs along the creek. The wood-framed houses are also a highlight. The street was built in the early 20th century. Later on, it became the center of the city's red light district. Here, you will find the Dolly's House Museum. It was once a brothel. It offers visitors a glimpse into what life was like for Dolly Arthur, the woman operating the brothel. People also visit Ketchikan for its waterfront, delicious food, salmon, wine, and shopping. Number 16. Totem State Historical Park in Ketchikan gets its name from the high concentration of standing totem poles. In fact, it has the highest number of totem poles in the whole world. They represent the living heritage of the Haida, Tlingit, and Shimshian peoples. Bald eagles are resting on the tops of the Tlingit people's totems. The point of the totems is to preserve artistic traditions. They are not religious objects, nor have they been worshipped. They are created to honor important people and important things that they have accomplished in their lives. They also represent their lineage and their social standing. Number 17. 
Bear watching is the most interesting thing to do in Alaska. In Ketchikan, otherwise known as the salmon capital, you can watch bears feed on salmon. Tongass National Forest is especially a hot tourist spot for people to watch black bears eat several species of salmon. The bear viewing areas include Anon Creek, Trader's Cove, and Neats Bay, which is a salmon hatchery. People go on float planes to witness bears in their natural habitat. Number 18. Eagle Beach in Juneau is one of the best spots on Earth to see an eagle soar through the sky. They are regularly seen on the beach, or they sit on totem poles. Bald eagles are common here, and that's why they are so precious to native Alaskan people. To them, the bald eagle is considered the closest creature to the Creator because they are the closest to the sky or to the heavens. This bird is a symbol of wisdom, strength, and courage. Number 19. Blueberry picking is also a huge hobby in Alaska. There's even a blueberry festival at Alieska Resort in Girdwood. Berry picking is even considered a sport in the summer and fall. Blackberries, cloudberries, salmonberries, cranberries, and blueberries are all picked and then either frozen or canned. The Alieska Resort even hosts a pie-eating contest with blueberry dishes. There are also cook-offs, a beer garden, live music, and vendors selling arts, food, and crafts. Number 20. Practical craft demonstrations and hand-on art take place in Anchorage near a wooded village site with life-sized examples of traditional buildings. People go here to learn techniques from master carvers. Older Alaskan people share their stories with young people and for those who want to learn. They also teach about traditional remedies, including the use of trees, shrubs, herbs, grasses, ferns, and fungi. Number 21. There are numerous solstice festivals held in Alaska every year. The summers are long and the winters are short, so during the summer, the northern part of the state gets months of daylight. In the winter, it gets months of darkness. Fairbanks has baseball games at midnight. Anchorage has a block party, and other cities celebrate with citywide gatherings. Number 22. Riverboat cruises on the Chena River in Fairbanks have been around since 1950. These cruises reveal the local lifestyles along the river. The Athabascan people do demonstrations. They also show how they dry and hang salmon. Then you can see dog sled demonstrations. They're even hooked up during the summer and run to get them a workout. Number 23. China also has its own hot springs. This resort features a hotel, camping sites, and cabins, making it a wonderful destination for overnight stays. The Aurora Ice Museum is completely made out of ice and snow. It is a main tourist attraction in China. There are beautiful ice sculptures as well as a bar. Drinks are served from glasses made from ice. During the winter month, the springs have Aurora viewing tours, ice sculpting, and of course bathing in mineral-rich hot springs. Number 24. High Cost of Living Living in such a gorgeous state comes at a price. The cost of living is high, especially in Juneau. The cost of living in this city is 28% higher than the national average. In Alaska, transportation, groceries, and utilities are especially expensive because of how remote some cities and towns are. Import costs are high. The cost of heating homes is another large expense for residents. The harsh winters push people's electricity bills through the roof. What's not expensive, though, is subscribing to our channel. It's free, we promise. Number 25. Despite its high cost of living and harsh weather, Alaska has been ranked the top spot in the United States as the happiest and healthiest state. The majority of people demonstrate good holistic well-being, different from other places around the country. They embrace nature and have a high standard of living. Are you from Alaska or have you visited? Leave a comment and tell us about other facts and places to visit. Are you subscribed? Yeah? Very nice.